Charlottesville, VA, in a courtroom this week in Charlottesville, VA, a chilling videotape played for the jury captured the voice of James Fields Jr., an Ohio man who attended a white nationalist rally here last year and crashed his car into a crowd of anti-racist protesters. Are they okay? Mr. Fields could be heard asking a police officer after his arrest. Told that people had been injured, and that someone had died, Mr. Fields began hyperventilating and sobbing. The courtroom filled with the sound of his cries. Many of those who were protesting the Unite the Right rally that day in August 2017 had spent much of the past year thinking of Mr. Fields, but had never heard his voice until they heard the tape. Some of the victims seated in the public gallery burst into tears, putting their arms around one another's shoulders in an unbroken chain. Susan Bro, the mother of 32-year-old Heather Heyer, who was killed, shook her head, these were crocodile tears, she said later. At the defense table, Mr. Fields cast his eyes down and stabbed at the table with a pencil. The murder trial unfolding in Charlottesville Circuit Court, where testimony could wrap up as early as Thursday, has led to an odd reunion of sorts more than 16 months after the most violent of a series of rallies over Confederate monuments across the South pitted white nationalists and members of the so-called alt-right against anti-racism activists. <laughs>